Censorship. A concept as old as storytelling itself. A tool used by the powerful to control the narrative, to suppress ideas, to silence voices. Today, we dive into the Forbidden Realm, the top 10 illegal books they want to ban you from reading. At number 10, we have The Satanic Verses by Salman Rushdie. This novel, published in 1988, sparked controversy due to its depiction of Islamic history. It led to a fatwa or religious edict, calling for Rushdie's death. The book remains banned in several countries today. Next, at number 9, The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. This classic American novel, published in 1951, has been a subject of controversy due to its themes of teenage angst, rebellion, and profanity. Many school districts in the United States have banned it over the years, deeming it inappropriate for young readers. At number 8, we have To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. This Pulitzer Prize-winning novel published in 1960 has been banned in many schools due to its frank discussion of racism and injustice. The book's poignant exploration of racial inequality remains a touchstone of American literature. Number 7 brings us 1984 by George Orwell. This dystopian novel published in 1949 depicts a totalitarian regime that controls every aspect of life, including thought. It's been banned in various countries including the Soviet Union for its biting critique of authoritarianism. At number 6, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. Published in 1932, this futuristic novel explores a society controlled by technology and conditioning. It's been banned for its portrayal of drug use, sexuality, and its anti-religious and anti-family themes. Number 5 is Animal Farm by George Orwell. This allegorical novella, published in 1945, uses animals to represent the corruption of socialist ideals. It's been banned in several countries, including the USSR and North Korea, for its political content. At number 4, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. This dystopian novel, published in 1953, ironically has been banned and even burned for its themes of censorship and the suppression of dissenting ideas. Number 3 is The Color Purple by Alice Walker. This Pulitzer Prize-winning novel, published in 1982, has been banned in several schools for its explicit language and scenes of violence. It presents a powerful critique of racism and sexism. At number 2, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. Published in 1955, this novel has been banned for its controversial subject matter, exploring a middle-aged man's obsession with a 12-year-old girl. And finally, the most controversial book at number 1, Mein Kampf, by Adolf Hitler. This autobiography, published in 1925, lays out Hitler's ideologies that led to World War II and the Holocaust. It's been banned in several countries due to its hate-filled content. So there you have it, the top 10 illegal books they want to ban you from reading. Remember, the aim here isn't to promote illicit content, but to shed light on the power of words and ideas, and the lengths to which some will go to suppress them. In the end, it's about freedom of thought, freedom of expression, and the power of literature to challenge, to provoke, and to change the world.